Good morning to our viewers. We are at the Durban ICC ahead of the special official Category 2 funeral for the late former Minister Praveen Godan, who died on Friday at the age of 75 following a fight against cancer. And we've been speaking to several people this morning, reflecting on the life and the work of Minister Godan, who, as we know, occupied several ministerial positions. But we've also been reflecting on the side that many South Africans may not have known, hearing from his best friend, Judge Thamba Pele, um, comrades that started at grassroots level with him in KwaZulu-Natal before he moved on to the National Assembly. But now we speak to a very critical stakeholder in this process uh, from the minute that President Cyril Ramaphosa, who will be delivering the eulogy, declared this a special official category to funeral. I've now got with me Lieutenant General Tebelo Mosekili. She's the Deputy National Police Commissioner. General, good morning. Welcome to SABC News. Good morning to you. Good morning to the viewers at home. Good morning to South Africans. And thanks for having me. I think one of the first signs of a special official funeral is that just outside the building where we are, we see the South African flag flying at half-mast. After the declaration of the state funeral to category that the president will then decide upon, which is either category one funeral or category two funeral, then the communique will then be directed to the ceremonial discipline officer of the South African Police Service. In this case, is, it is this declared category two, which means the ceremonial uh, discipline that you will see uh, happening today will that be of the police service. There is the contingency of members of the South African Police Service that will be taking a lead as a, a distinguishing uh, you know, a, a gesture to the minister who served, or the former minister who served this uh, country with distinction. And when that happens, the planning phase of uh, the whole uh, process will be that of the, our ceremonial discipline officer, the presidency, as well as uh, the family of the late uh, the, uh, minister Pravin Godan. When that happens as well, it will then mean the directive will then be issued that at all state buildings, the flag must be hosted at half mast. In the planning process, has that included members of the family that you have been working closely with to fulfill Minister Godin's last wishes? Definitely, the family gets involved from the time that the declaration is made. Of course, they should be consulted by the presidency in ensuring that they will agree to what uh, the presidency will, will give to, to, to the family to do. So throughout the planning, including this morning, it all involves all the stakeholders and most importantly, the family of a uh, uh, the, the, the late uh, former minister, Praveen. We saw Minister Godin's uh, body um, travel to his home in Pretoria on Tuesday for a private family viewing. And when the casket left the home, we saw it draped in the ANC flag. And that's how we saw it arrive at the King Shaka International Airport that night as well. Can you just take us through now, will there be a flag change from the ANC to the South African flag once his body arrives at the ICC later this morning? Definitely, that is exactly what it meant by the declaration of the state funeral. Uh, when it arrives, there will be a guard of honor that will be waiting at the entrance of uh, this uh, place that we are at. And immediately after the arrival it will be then taken to a designated place the coffin will then be taken to a designated place where it will be draped with now the state uh, flag the national flag of the republic of south africa in an honor and respect of the late uh, mr Koda. General, just a final question before we wrap up. Can you take South Africans through a few of the ceremonial elements that your members will carry out during the special official funeral? As I've indicated that on arrival, the first step is that of the draping of the coffin, 
that will be done by the police and there will then be a guard of honor, there will be a poll bearers that will take over from the family or from the ANC, whoever that will be carrying the coffin, it will then be handed over to our poll bearers who will carry the coffin and they will see the national commissioner and the commissioners of the South African Police Service designated to be giving that honor to Mr. Godan that will then be leading the procession. So there will be a leading detachment, there will be a police band that will be playing throughout the procession and the funeral process. There will be the, the chaplain of the South African Police Service that will be then uh, be officiating this uh, ceremony. On the arrival of the state president that I forgot, it will, will be received, of course, by that guard of honor of the police and ushered to the designated place where the whole procession will be taking place. Uh, upon the completion of the deliberation, then the, the flag will be removed, the national flag will be removed from the grave. That is what we are going to see from the guard of honor. It will then be handed over to the national commissioner of the South African Police Service, General Fanny Masemula, who will hand over that flag to the state president, His Excellency Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, who will then give it to the family. That is the symbol of saying we respect the person who has passed, who has distinguished himself and work with, for the South Africa, and that flag will then be handed over to the family of the deceased. Thank you so much. That was Lieutenant General Tebela Mosikili, the Deputy National Police Commissioner here at the Durban ICC, ahead of the late Minister Praveen Godan's special official category two funeral. Leanne, it's back to you.